Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. How are you guys doing? Can you guys hear me? That's probably the first question I'm going to ask. That's great. Okay, that's awesome. I'm so glad to see you guys all here. Uh, this is an exciting time. We've got uh, the finale of the first ever Root Digital Tournament. Um, so we've got obviously <laughs> no surprises on which factions are being played. Uh, but uh, we might have a little surprise on which Vagabond is going to be chosen. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to introduce uh, the four different players. Uh, they've been through many different matches to get to this point. Um, I'm going to start off by introducing the player point of view that we are going to be watching through this whole game, which is going to be our friend Jimmy. Jimmy, how are you doing? Yeah, that's me. Uh I'm, I'm the one you just be saying, able to yeah, that's me. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna try and give you the sample voice. Okay, can like, you guys hear Jimmy? <laughs> oh yes. Okay, we can hear Jimmy. That's oh, great. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Great. You got Jimmy. We got Jimmy. Yeah. Woo! Jimmy's alive. <laughs> okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. And All right, Jimmy. So, yeah. what, what, what factions did you play to get to this point, my friend? Yeah, so I played like mostly cats and vagabond and i've been on most of my vagabond games so that's why i'm here you know oh man it, yeah. you played yeah, a lot so, of vagabond games so that's why yeah, you're yeah. here what a bold statement <laughs> yeah yeah but like i <laughs> ho ho hope i can just you know get pull, pull off a cat win here because that that would be like pretty cool you know let's go let's go all right so he's he's gonna he's gonna play the cats so this is gonna be very fun uh next up we have also got and i'm not sure which faction um we've got uh, lee jozu <laughs> Lijozu, so, how are you doing? Which faction are you today? Um, I'm all right. Uh, playing the Irie Dynasty. Oh, excellent. Uh, which factions did you use to get to this point in the tournament? Uh, mostly I've got Vagabond and the Irie. Excellent. That's um, awesome. As Vagabond, I'd pick Ranger. This infamy is awesome. Oh, I love the I love the infamy. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're going to move on to our next uh, finalist. We've got... <gasps> I'm losing my mind. Kenny. Kenny, how are you doing? Howdy. Hey, I'm what's doing, up? You know, I, I was having a great day, and then I joined this game, and I saw Vagabond on my screen, and my mood plummeted. Oh, so, I am so we're going to see how I do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I'm so games. sorry. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Don't even worry about it. Um, so, uh, which factions did you use to get to this point in the tournament? You know, I, I rode. I rode the back of Charismatic Eerie all the way here. That's what I used. For you most rode of my the games. back of Charismatic. And Eerie. I rode the back. I was carried by Charismatic Eerie, and now I'm lost. To yes. The, to the vagabond. That's awesome. So now you're gonna have to win as the vagabond. This is gonna be crazy. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, well, we've got one one more finalist, uh, Valensk. Did I say that right? Hey, hey what's yeah, up? Yeah, you actually got it correct. Most people don't. Well, welcome. Um, I, that leaves the Woodland Alliance for you, my my favorite of the base game factions. So, I mean, I might secretly just be rooting for you by default here. <laughs> That's funny. I'm almost Get not it. rooting for me. <laughs> which which factions did you use to get to this point? Tournament rules are that we play random, so I've gotten a mix. Got you, got I, you, got you. I think two of my wins were other alliance games. I think oh. I've gotten the alliance more than any other faction. Ah. I've also won as the cats once and as the vagabond once. Excellent. Well, good work. Good work, good work. Well, guys, um, I'm really excited that you're all here, and this is going to be a great game. I can already tell you guys are all real cool. So, um, yeah, go ahead and get started playing, and I'm going to go ahead and announce uh, the <laughs> commentators to the audience. So, um, yeah, you guys can go ahead and start. Thank you so much, and good luck. Yeah, good Thank luck. You. Thank you. All right, commentators, how are you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Yuri, 
uh, let's introduce you first. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing good. I'm I'm really excited to watch this game. So oh. uh, I'm I'm Yuri from Direwolf Digital. I'm a game designer there, and I'm just uh, so amazed by this marquee opening hand. But I guess let's introduce everyone else first. <laughs> I am also uh, very amazed by this opening hand. It's like wow. If if anything could go wrong, nothing did for this cat player. I was going to ask you, Yuri, if Direwolf was stacking the deck here. Look at that. <laughs> You guys probably already recognize uh, his voice. He is the most wonderful Root voice of all time. Cole, thank you so much for being here. Creator Hello, of Root. Awesome. Well, one of many people who's worked on the game. That's true. That's true. Um, I don't know. What do you What do you like to go by? Like, What do you like people to say that you did with the game? Besides like main designer, because weren't you? Yeah, I don't know. I like. I mean, I've, I'll own the designer Root any day. Um, but uh, yeah, that that's fine. The designer cool. of Root's fine. The designer of Root is in the house. A designer of the Direwolf Digital is in the house. And who else do we have? We don't need anybody else, but but who else is here? We have you, Sam. <laughs> no, I don't matter. Don't say that, Patrick. <laughs> Come on, don't be nice to me. Sheesh. This is this is Patrick Leader, uh, the owner of Leader Games. <clears throat> Man, and, that's awesome. And uh, uh, you know, I do hear things here and there. <laughs> Well, I'm very, very glad to have all three of you guys here. Uh, it's very, very fun, and this is a great game. Obviously, um, I'm excited about it. I've been excited about Root ever since its existence in 2018, so it's so cool to see. Now we have a digital game, and now we're watching the very first tournament of it. So what a cool time to be alive. So, I'm, yeah, so what do we got going on here? Okay. So the Woodland Alliance is just spreading out. Got all three sympathy down. That's a good opener. Wow, that is a. So I mean, whatever the cats got for an amazing hand, the that support was pretty good too. Yep, yep. And it looks like the vagabond went with. Interesting. The thief did not go with Tinker. I am very surprised. <laughs> well, you know that the thing about Tinker is, although it has that insane move where it, could, you know, if it gets three hammers, they can they can start crafting favors and pulling them out of the discard pile with their day labor. Uh, you know, once people know that they can, they can really beat up on them. So oh. I, I think, I think the, the thief might be the safer move. Definitely. Oh, what do I usually play? You, what do you usually play? Mm -hmm. These days it's W8 land. I feel like Warlord well, but, W8. But when I do play the Vagabond, what do I usually play? Oh, you play. What is your Vagabond? It's been a long time, Patrick. I don't know. <laughs> I usually play the thief too. I like the teapot is too good. Too it is. Good. It's one of those that you, you don't miss it until you play another vagabond. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're like, why is this vagabond so hard? No, starting with starting with a starting with a root T is such a benefit because finding the root T is like the first priority for every other vagabond that doesn't start with it, right? And if you have nothing else to do with the torch, you can take a card and give it back to the player that you stole it from. So, I, so the, yeah, uh, go ahead, Yuri. Oh no, worries. I, I just I, I had been very curious if the you know the marquee was going to hawk away everything, but as I suspected, they kept the royal claim in hand. So the question is, are they going to hold it long enough to craft it, or are they going to be tempted and end up hawking it uh, before they get there? Yeah, that, and opening with double sawmills is a risky, a risky move. But if you've got, you know, if you've got an extra action in the bank, it can really pay off that extra sawmill early. Oh, so yeah. I'm not, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, I'm not too familiar with the Steam version. Is he playing the eagle as the birds? Like, does is the portrait change for oh, which leader? Yeah, you are? the the portrait changes. Yeah, so okay. he's playing charismatic right now. Charismatic. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Cole. Sorry. No, you you're good. You're good. So it's it's been interesting to watch. You know, this is the third tournament that I've that I've kind of observed parts of, and on, with the cat meta, it's very conservative right now. It's very much like get that recruiter down, you know, hide, pull your guys back, and this is a really aggressive open. It really is. <laughs> I actually so this is one of my one of my favorite openers, but it's very situational and you have to usually I only do it if I get like the first turn in the game. Um because you know the two sawmills it is good, but sometimes the positioning is just too bad by the time it doesn't come your your first turn, you know. But like if it's your first turn, you can kind of flex a little bit, you know. Rest those paws and get those two sawmills out early. 
I've not been paying attention to the Twitch chat. Whoops. Yeah, what's the Twitch chat saying? That it's stealing at each other. Double sawmill alert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it can be super scary. I don't know. Some games can go very, very well. And then on the opposite end, like everything in Root, it can go terribly bad just as easily. So the Vagabond just... What did I... the Vagabond do? Sorry, I, I'm, I'm like... I think he got a point for, for Aiden. Oh, oh, no, he cleared a Root and he cleared a Root. That's what it was for. Sorry. Mm-mm. Yeah, and just in case the uh, audience watching is wondering, all of them are chatting, so hopefully they will do some table talk. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> they are definitely talking to each other, so I don't think we'll see a runaway victory here. Usually when you got some chatting going on, they're, they're, it's a lot harder. Yeah, cool. boy, Vagabond jumping out too. Scary, scary thing to do early in the game. I agree with that. I agree. Well, do you think we can make oh. a... The revolt on the, the, vagab the vagabond. <laughs> the vagabond took the wrong thing that they turned it. Oh, that's so sad. See? Oh, well, I mean, that's every Woodland Alliance's dream <laughs> because they're like, wow, I actually <laughs> helped in stopping crazy. the vagabond early game. <laughs> what? But that's that's really hard <laughs> for that poor that poor thief. That's three items. Uh, damaged in the early game too in the early game yeah yeah got to get that hammer man oh uh, yeah no, no hammer to repair nope on the other side just i mean it must be a relief for with an alliance getting a base in the map that's always like that first hurdle you need to clear mm -hmm. so i don't know about putting in 5 points but well you, and you do what you have to on top of that <laughs> the, the base is in like the dream spot for putting a base i mean it's dangerous but it is the dream location to have a base <laughs> yeah I usually mean... you don't want to stamp out that initial base but this one is in such an ideal spot that it might be worth yeah i mean this is connected to five clearings uh, this is literally the best spot he could possibly have it. I mean, <laughs> he was probably like, what? I am going for this. And then the poor thief just had to take a huge bite in the process. I love that people call that clearing Texas. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I know. Mm. I think Waterman started that. But she's actually in the chat. Hello, Waterman. Thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, he actually started that. It's funny. It's like one of the top players on Root Digital. Oh, it looks considering the hawk here. Yep, yep. Oh, there we go. Ah, Not long for is, this world. He is the yeah. the royal decree for the extra action. Yeah, let's. Well, have you ever pulled off a royal decree with the cats? Do you think? I think the most points I've I've done it a couple tough. times. I think the most points I've gotten is like three or four. Yeah, it's, by the time you get it down, everyone's going to be. I think it is. It's scariest with the with the eerie. It's like such a good. It's pure... good with the eerie. Yeah, I think it's four or five points. Oh yeah, I've always thought that that's why it was a bird card because it was yeah. intended for them. <laughs> they yep. can pull off some crazy wins early with those. They can rush the game at like you know already fifteen points, then they get like the bonus of five or so, and then they and four colorless isn't too bad to put down. Oh and yeah, the not at all. Roll. Yeah, yep, yep. They've they've got the best the best chance to get a lot of points from it. So cool. I, I'm really enjoying just seeing the four base factions again. Do you think we could make like a root light and just release the like just the base four factions in a set and get picked like up a, by like that a box that was just the base four factions? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> like root collector's edition. Yeah, root something? special edition, <laughs> just, just the base. <laughs> this is funny. I haven't seen a game with just the first four in a, in a long time. I know, right? Well, maybe Neither we'll do uh, Root Digital Classic with just the just the first. Oh, there you four. go. Yeah, just the and, first four. How, and how and, it, and in four three, that that Twitter comment was fire. Oh, the four the four three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I I actually love the base four faction game. I don't know. There's just something. Well, obviously, it brings a lot of memories back because this is how I learned the game and learning all of them was like the first experience of Root. So every time I see like the game being played this way, it just brings me back to the, the early days, you could say. Well, like, and there's also like, you know, the base four factions on the autumn map is a very like curated 
root experience because yeah. that's what was tested. Like yeah. no other combination will ever get the amount of testing and care that that one got. Yeah, yeah. Now you can see it too. It's very, very interesting. It's super cutthroat. Um, and the deck also works perfectly for it too, which is really yep. cool. I remember bringing this set home, you know, like when we were designing it and, or you were designing it and the whole like, my wife would just play the W every time, get all 10 guys on the board and rush the keep every time. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. With the Woodland Alliance? Did you just say yeah, that? You, yeah, you could get 10 guys. You used to be able to get 12 guys, right? On the, on the board at a time. So the w, yeah. Different times. No officers, and you'd win if you had 12 guys in the clearings around the keep, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was what? Like that. that was just yeah. like a special victory that was condition. Just, uh, yeah, every faction had their own little special victory condition. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. Mm. That's pretty yeah. cool. Was there was there a flavorful name for that one? I they they picture them all like waiting at the gates. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's, it's like, like an uprising like, or something. Yeah, it's like the yeah. coup or something. I, yeah, I yeah. can't remember what it was. Yeah, that's extremely cool. Um, but sorry, like, she was just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this time. And <laughs> <laughs> all the cats would be standing in the keep trying to hold them off. Oh my gosh, okay, the we best do a comment. Vast root edition. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna I'll 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 fan faction. I'll fan faction, I'll fan. I'll, I'm gonna write that up and Yeah, I have I'll have to I'll have to talk to you, Patrick, when we get back in the office because I had I had a very late Kickstarter idea that I was like, I have to keep this to myself because I can't say it out loud. So it's, it's going to stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> if I say it out loud, it'll start happening. Next time. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got uh, the Woodland Alliance is doing, is doing some, some stuff. How many officers do the Woodland Alliance have? I am curious. Yeah. Let's see. I wish oh, I, I can. I I can find that information. You out. can. Yeah. You guys can help me find that information. That's true. Yeah, we've got a pretty fun setup here. They all have access to everyone's view. I have pretty much access to one view at the moment. All right. The Woodland Alliance has drum roll, drum roll. Three. Three. Three okay. Officers. Cool. Cool. Which is a which is a good and a correct number. I have. like that. I like that number. <laughs> Four uh, is too many. Five is definitely too five many. Is, five is definitely too many unless you're about to win the dang game. <laughs> really? Perfect. Five is too much if you're about to win the game? No, no, it is. I mean, it can be useful for the sprint, but it's just, you just don't have the, don't have the density. Just don't have the, the bandwidth with, yeah. with the Warriors. I don't especially know. I usually if you've go got, five. If, especially if you have three bases out, like you oh, can't that's defend. True. That's you true. Just can't defend them. I like doing two bases, five officers usually, but... That is my preference. Interesting to see them spread to that that second base and on on the coast is a is a tricky it's a tricky second base. Yeah, I am not sure about it. I wonder if he just didn't have any other options, but it's gonna be kind of. I, I feel like it's gonna get in the way really easily. Because mm -hmm. no matter yeah, what and, happens, it will become and, an option. And the cats like absolutely need to like get rid of the sympathy and that that bunny clearing north of texas uh -huh. and and get that get that troop count up yep. to block the sympathy otherwise they're going to be in trouble yep i can see that completely Oof. it's interesting so i'm wondering because <laughs> wow uh the cats already have four sawmills out that's crazy um uh, is this going to pay <laughs> off or is this going to bite them in the butt you know it's you know one of the things that gets ignored by cat players, even good cat players, is that your val your action value on victory points is just so much better if you go along one track or two tracks. Yeah, yeah. So you've seen the cat players say like, "I'm going to lead sawmill. I'm going to mm -hmm. get recruiters. I'm not going to touch workshops." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I like about the Marcus's variant. Plays a little bit. Then you can play all three a little bit better. Mm. Yeah, right. Right now, I think that the workshop path works in certain hands, certain maps, certain faction combinations. It's not super viable on the default set. You can get those two yellow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you get the two. Yeah, if you have, if you have the yellow curves, then yeah, you can make it. Yeah. Man, crazy. Whew. Uh, scores are actually looking really oddly even. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> This is weird. SP and... Shaman, the local queen is creating jobs, okay? <laughs> <sighs> 
creating jobs for the cats while obviously denying everyone else of jobs. That's totally fine. That's normal. Yeah, I don't like with two sawmills. I don't like the search forward, but we'll see. I'm I'm honestly getting a little scared for the position, but that's only because, I mean, if you there look are three at recruiters it, down. Yeah, yeah. If you look at it, he's got three recruiters. He's also got five, three, four on his outlying uh, territory. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I mean, the cats are going to be the ones that are able to break through that, and obviously, vagabond is in a really niche position right now. <laughs> could slip into any one of them but i don't think the vagabond's going to be doing any any hard damage right now with that early bombing do after a big design i do all these like usually garbage small designs just to get them out of my system hmm. and after finishing root the first game i made was a goofy PUBG card game oh. quite work but i thought it was <laughs> a good idea Do miss four letters. I would um I would take the license off of uh Fancy Flight's hands if they want me to work on it. Isn't that still in print too, right? They they're still they're still Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I feel like it's, I see it. It's based on Doom twenty sixteen. I have the one from like two thousand. Yeah, that one I, I, I played it when it, around when it came out and liked it. I mean it seemed like a solid game. It was weird because if you played it solo, it was really easy. And if you played it with a squad, it was almost impossible. In my opinion. That matches with my memory. <laughs> Gears of War, though. That was that was pretty I... hot. I'll bring it in sometime. I think it's so funny that, I don't know, people say it, and I used to not believe it, but slowly I'm I'm starting to be reminded that it might be actually true that most board gamers are also uh you know digital gamers as well yeah i'm talking about the gears of war board game oh i know but you oh, know yeah. you're also playing doom over here you know yeah we got we got cole with the apex i played dozens of random things i have played apex before by the way cole it's pretty oh, good. fun it's a fun game here's the board so i you saw some fine parading there just now the uh eerie moved a uh, warrior into a clearing and then back yep mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's a... i saw that i saw that <laughs> tried and true <clears throat> so it looks you gotta like get, you gotta stretch your wings get a little exercise <laughs> so i actually have not seen that before but these these little symbols where it shows that red um kind of half circle means that they're undoing their action Oh. So they were going back. Uh, oh, using the undo feature. Yeah, so he's using the new undo feature, which is awesome. I'm so glad that you can do that now. It really improves gameplay so much. So uh, it looks like they did that to fix their decree a little bit. Very cool. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're really excited to have that out now. Oh, it's awesome. It was, it was a big, uh, that was one of the you know, just player requests we saw over and over. And... I'm so excited to see the otters in Oh, and, uh, too. and low poly. Me too. And, <sighs> you know, Yuri, you know, I'm not trying to put anything on your plate. And, you know, you've been really friendly. I, I really appreciate you. But maybe oh, someday we could have a, a spectator mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Theme, theme of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'd honestly rather the expansions first, to be fair. The expansions, I'm so excited to see. Uh, oh, it's going to be awesome. You guys do some great work over there, really. Oh, thank you. I mean, this is gorgeous. Look what we're, we're just looking at a piece of artwork right now. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely perfect. I mean, the, the art for Root is just like so, it has such an awesome style to it. So it was, it was, we were all very excited to be able to try to adapt it into something that could attempt to live up to it. Sure. Call work working on a game, a time travel game called Undo, uh, for twenty twenty three now. Is All that right, deal. real or? No, I just I just proposed <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> it's it. as real as anything else I do. Okay, okay. So you're just trolling again. Perfect. I'm I'm not looking at chat. So if you wanna if you wanna make fun of somebody who can't tell, that's this is your guy. Oh, and the <laughs> sequel is... can be redo. <laughs> so it looks oh, no. like. 
What's it's happening like, better. Ooh, turmoil. <laughs> the area is turmoiled. Oh, yeah. that's a rough. Yeah, they've got a lot of. They got. They got their guys on the board. Though. They do. I mean, they got, yeah, they got their guys charismatic. on the board. No big. They yeah, armored yeah. up each of the clearings too, and they've got four roosts out still. So it's really not that bad. I, I do really like the charismatic leader for that reason. I think it's definitely my go-to. Yeah, oh. that's my favorite opening. I was I was talking with a with a group of people who've been playing a lot of this game in isolation from everyone else. Like they had read no strategy guides, they're not in the Discord, and they couldn't believe me when I was like, "No, charismatic is like that's the opening." Mm. <laughs> they they had a whole they had a whole different a whole different way of playing the game. Yeah, yeah, I love charismatic openings. The the hardest to imagine is the uh, the builder. I, I would imagine a lot of new players go to the the despot. Right, and then they mm. they graduate they graduate to charismatic. That's what's so, so, you, it's so easy to not turmoil with. So what I what I like to watch Paul do is he'll do charismatic and then do like two builds, and and just go crazy the first three turns and try mm. and get all his roost down and then mm -hmm. and then turmoil. It's fun to watch. It oh, does yeah. nice work, but it's fun to watch. Oh, what? It's true. It does not always work. Oh, I mean, you're doing something different, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just going to go out and say, you know, no shade to those Builder fans out there for Eerie, well, but it's my the least builder favorite. The Builder is the, it's the most important closer. You need it's the good. Builder. It's good. So yeah, good. I'll use it as a closer once in a while. I've done it before, but, you know. This, I love the choice of commander. Like, you know, you really need the, in a game with a strong Woodland Alliance open, you need that commander to help crack it. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm interested to see him go towards the Woodland Alliance and not up towards the Marquise. I think he's going to go that way and just try to clear that out. Clear out the poor, the poor revolution. The martial law is on point. Yeah, it really is. There's yeah. three, 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 <laughs> three, three, four. <laughs> it really I, is. The, the, the cats have kept their line so perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're they're going to start running into the slot issues a little bit. Um, I think they've only got the one slot, right? Yep. Yeah. I feel like their their obvious choice would be. I don't know. I, I guess it's not an obvious choice, but you know they're either going to be pushing the one of the one of the corners, one of the side edge clearings. I think. Ooh, we got a favor. Oh, a favor being he's played. Just <laughs> he's just mobilizing. Oh, he's I got over oh, oh my this map gosh! <laughs> you you scared me I so really I was like, excited. "What? How is this happening? Where is it? How did I?" No, miss no, this? I just I just switched over to the Woodland Alliance window. Okay. I, yeah. Oh, oh man. That was scary. We're good. It's not gonna happen. That would just be such a game changer. But yeah, no, <laughs> yeah obviously. Well, I was like, how could it? Not, it's it's just clearly like so not even remotely possible. Does he have cobbler out? Oh, that that's was still amazing. a great moment. I'm I'm happy it happened because my heart just dropped. <laughs> uh, let's see. Does does the Woodland Alliance have cobbler? Yeah, I think he, I think I just saw a cobbler. Play. Oh, cool, cool. I'm I'm a huge fan of cobbler. With, it's a free with, officer that doesn't take up any space. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's the best way to say it. Da, da, da. Oh, so far, the game's going pretty good. I am in the camp of probably doing a little bit of vagabond policing. Yeah, they've. They've. I think they've probably bounced through their problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, who do you who do you like right now, Patrick? Like, who who's your favorite to win? I am going to go with the WA because the Vagabond's about to get spanked, and the Cats are running out of space. Yeah, well, who's your favorite? I I think I think the Erie is in a really beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. the, the, I, I'm really impressed by how the Erie and the, the Cats have played. They've been very careful. Mm -hmm. I they're, would, not, they're not doing the normal the normal things that always catch me and cause me to crash and burn yeah that's true it's true i'm i'm honestly scared about the woodland alliance's position though i mean that's what four five okay so they got five sympathy out in some of the best spots that you can have really Man, it's just it's such a it was such a good spot to have their base out i yeah, i don't i'm not ex i wouldn't be excited to have uh, that red base in five points, but um, 
Yuri, who is your favored faction right now? Well, I'm not sure I would say they're my favorite, but I, I will say <laughs> for the marquee, you can't ignore that incredible opening that they had. And yeah. they, haven't like a free mess, turn. they haven't messed up yet in, in any significant way. But I, I, I do acknowledge that it's going to be tough for them to break into any more space to build here. There's just no easy clearing. Mm. I mean, it's probably the mouse in the lower left is where they're going next. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, the, the, the bunny, to take bunny them clearing. to the, sorry. <clears throat> oh, I was just correcting myself. It's the bunny clearing in the lower left. Sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm in the camp of definitely, I would say that the WA and the vagabond right now would need a little bit of policing in order for the Marquise and the Erie to, they have the great, they have great positions, but they're going to have to police a little bit. The Erie's going to have to take that. The cats are going to have to take the Erie clearing in the right because they had the two creatures so they can put a lot of pressure on. Yeah. I hope that the Erie then goes towards, I, I really want to see the Eerie take one of the bases and prioritize yeah. taking a base. Now maybe, I don't know what their chat is. Maybe they're agreeing to take a base each to keep it out. Mm. That's true. That's true. Whoa! SP Shaman gifting five five subs to people in the chat. What? Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. That's like real money. Oh, SP and, and he... Oh my gosh, he even redeemed a fizzy wizard spell, meaning that I have to actually change my drink. And since all I have is beer, I have to go for another beer. (laughs) That's dangerous. I hope you don't have 500 more points. really big mistake early on i made with the with the whole stream i i did this fizzy wizard spell that the the viewers could cast and it makes me change my drink it's great <laughs> well i'll let you know i just changed my drink so we're we're going steady here thank you so much for doing that that was awesome okay <laughs> what are you laughing at cool oh, I'm, I'm laughing at a uh, shaman oh yeah he's great Keeping it lively. Man. Just looking at this board position. I, I really I'm 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 gonna be curious about how the area is gonna launch this attack. Because, you know, there are kind of two ways to do this, right? You can try to scoop up the outside. Or you if because he's the commander, he could break that that central base. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's totally true. That commander honestly works so many wonders. I would like to see the Eerie take one of the bases. I really would. Because then it would be like the full circle. If the Marquise is trying to take some of the Eerie's territory, and then the Eerie is oh. taking out the base. Oh, the Eerie is going for the Marquise. It's got to take down those two recruiters before it becomes a bigger problem uh, what happened though uh, oh, it's... I'm afraid that I am afraid that the vagabond was not hit I had hoped but no he hit the cats he did <laughs> that's reverse policing <laughs> reverse policing <laughs> wonderful yeah, the, vag- the vagabond has a uh, T for days over here. Oh no! Oh, yeah, I just crafted another T. So is that three T now for the th- yeah. for the thief? Oh my gosh! Okay, we've we've got to get some some major vagabond policing before this gets out of hand. I've just seen it happen so many times. It's better than one T, two T's. What's better than two T's though? Three T's. Triple boiled, triple distilled. Triple boiled tea. <laughs> Wait, did he decline the use of the ambush, or did he use? Okay, good. I think he used the ambush. Perfect. Awesome. Oof. I am glad to see that. I thought for a second uh, that Jimmy declined it. Yeah, I like. I like my. Uh... I like my WA statement earlier. Um, with, these, with these three fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, might have, you might have picked the right, the right I, call there. 
<laughs> I don't think they that you guys heard it, but when I was talking to the, the talking to the players and stuff, I even stated in that that I kind of felt like I was obligated to vote for the WA because I just love them so much. But you know, so I might have stock in this win too. Patrick mm-hmm. is what I'm trying to say. I see. But then, you know, the chat called me out for being, you know, a biased commentator, you know, the huge. Indeed, the huge. Okay, yeah, this thief is putting a lot of work here on this clearing. Oof. Oof. That is a whole clearing gone. The infrastructure of the cats... Years to build, seconds to destroy sometimes. However, if we think of this in a good way, the cats could just use those two spots to rebuild. They still got, what, four sawmills? Yeah, I think they're, the cats might be in. They're not, they're not in a bad, they're, the cats are not in a bad position. Nope. I wouldn't uh, say, yeah, it's, it's anyone's game, but. They are not going to win on dominance. I'll just call. <laughs> no, I, I definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Chat's calling out to save the one bottom cat in the fox. Just the one lonely cat. Mm. I don't know. I, I love those little straggling cats that just are stand there for the whole game. Mm -hmm. You got, I I like the early March to pull back my line a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, But if you don't do that, you end up with these weird stranded cats that. Yeah. Like that one can clear that sympathy. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Not not a bad, not a bad thing. Mm -mm. Sneaky, sneaky guy. (laughs) He's holding the line. Oh man, SP Shaman is just too funny. It kills me. Oh, making use of that cobbler. That's what we like to see. Mm. Probably gonna just do the good old swap. Did you just leave a base open? Oh, I, I'm assuming that they're gonna put up some warriors there, right? The reality, yeah. yeah. Three, okay. three nighttime actions still, so should be filling that in. It should be fun. Okay. Yeah, that that's Oof. honestly this is just looking way too good for the Will Alliance with this turn right here. <laughs> Eleven points in line with everyone else. This they should be at like six or seven points right now. Okay, actually they should be at like nine, probably by this turn count if they were held back enough. <sighs> it looks like Texas is paying off. Mm -hmm. They still haven't covered that eerie controlled mouse clearing down below, but they just took the, the top mouse. So yeah. And that, that warrior sitting on that mouse clearing, that, <laughs> the, the middle mouse clearing is a real problem for the eerie yep. stops them from just getting the easy removal on the sympathy. Oh man, this is when the Woodland Alliance just become brutal. They're just so rude. Just like, yeah, and I'll leave yeah. a, I'll leave a little mouse here just to make sure that you can't just clear it off real quick. And the Vagabond plays a dangerous game by not going after him because the Woodland uh-huh. Alliance can usually close distance faster. Uh huh. Uh huh. Definitely. Yeah, I think I think the Vagabond definitely went for the easier points. Just, I mean, I don't know. It would have been pretty easy. I mean, getting the getting the lower roll even on defense sucks for the Vagabond, but that sucks for everyone. I mean, you just got to do it. In this very high scoring sawmill place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I absolutely adore the cat's play right now. Mm-hmm. I actually do. It's it's really good. It's really clean. It ended up working out, and I'm really happy that it did. Well, what's interesting is we were 
we were kind of like, woe is the cats for their lack of being able to spread out and build. Uh, and then they, they conveniently lost some building slots. Yeah. Right, they get those slots. Yep, the Vagabond kind of gave them some opportunity there. Yeah. I think that yeah, that definitely turned out in their favor. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. I still think that the Vagabond definitely at that point probably should have tried to hit the the you know the Woodland Alliance player, but that would have equally kind of slowed them both because then it would have forced the cats to have to spread, and it would have slowed down the Woodland Alliance. I'm very interested to see what this what this uh, Eerie does. They've got two battles this turn. So where are they heading? That is a great question. Wait, so they have two battles? Are they <laughs> colored? There, there will be uh, all the all the cards in the next deck are going to be the favor of the birds shop. Oh, most the... the full deck. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all favors. <laughs> all favors. <laughs> all the favors. To, to answer the question just a little bit back, the, it's just two bird cards are in the uh, Eerie Decree, so they have their pick. They're not they're not restricted to suit here. Somebody on the face somebody on the Facebook group today showed a, a um, the digital version of the game where some for some reason it rolled all bunny clearings. <laughs> <laughs> just the entire map bunnies. It was, yeah. It was, it was kind of funny. That's awesome. That was only that was only supposed to happen on Easter. It must have leaked early. Oh, uh, wait a second. <laughs> that would be really a silly game. All the same suit clearing. Okay, all right. The Eerie have taken the bunny base. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to see. Well, I, I knew that clearing wasn't long for this world, but you know, it was a, it was actually a different faction that ended up taking. Yeah, they ended up uh, taking yeah. it. Yep, yeah, yep. The cats have a lot of warriors on the board. They do. It's really interesting going into this phase of the game with that many warriors in play, and that many points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is. It Real is interesting. Cat play. I am honestly a little bit surprised at just how this game is playing out. It's playing out differently than a lot of the games that I see normally. That's so good. SP, can I call out Jinx? Because we both said it, or? <laughs> uh, SP, do not fizzy drink spell because I am still working on my second fizzy beverage. <laughs> Who knows, maybe one of the other commentators has a fizzy beverage nearby that they can take the spell for me. I've been hit too hard. <laughs> My tum tum is sad, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no for me. So if you're Vagabond here, what are you uh, repairing this turn? If... Well, let me look at that. Yeah, could you guys let me know what's going on over there in the Vagabond oh, bag? That sure. bag of chat. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, which one? This one. Nope. Hmm. There we go. How's it looking, fellas? Yeah, so the Vagabond's got uh, a damaged torch, T, and T. Okay. And they're, they're, they're walking around with two swords, a hammer, and a boot. Hmm. I'd probably damage one of the swords. Try to get out of there. But who knows? The thing I love about the Vagabond is that, you know, if all of everything goes wrong, they can just go back to the forest and come back fully operational. Yeah, and they're, what they repair here is really interesting. He repairs the torch. Uh, is he going to go steal cards? What? Well, there's not many runes left that's in the map. The, that's the new meta. <laughs> thief, thief card stealing. 
Oh. oh. Did I just see that he or is, stole or is he the, the hammer? He stole. He, did. he just stole the hammer. Oh my gosh. Wow. Play of the game. I don't even care. This is new meta with the Warriors. I don't even hammer. care who what wins. Stealing is, the hammer. This is literally the craziest game of Root Digital I think I've ever watched in my life. And it's not it's not the fizzy beverages talking. <laughs> it's just the fact that this is crazy. So Yuri, <laughs> what, yes. what do you think about contacting Bumblebear and getting a like a Killer Queen style cabinet, but for Root? That would go in Ooh. arcades, so you can play a whole game of Root for a dollar, two dollars. Oh, I like it. And oh, then um, I'm not going to rest until we're in every Dave and Buster's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is the thief really going for the keep right now? Is this is this is this a good idea? This doesn't seem to be a good idea. Yeah, this is I think, full, I think full at this point he's just trashing his stuff and he's gonna just go trying to get extra points, but he's gonna I go just, to the woods. Well, yeah. and like you know, taking using the thief ability, grabbing that card and then pounding the keep, it's like a hand depletion strategy. True, true. Yeah, it, it makes it much harder for them to field hospital when their hand is reduced. They just have they have just enough. Oh, he wanted to deplete the field hospital cards. Sure. That's smart, that's smart. It is a good move. I, I didn't see how many cards the marquee had at the time. I believe it was. To, I believe they had to a total of four. Oh, Jimmy's done, a... Jimmy's done to one card now. Yeah, uh, I think they depleted actually two. Sorry, my bad. I think they had three. Yeah. No, but no. I think that was a great move. Yeah. I mean, that really does. That that hurts a bit. I, so I, I. I've, I've totally stolen cards from a Corvid player to limit there. Mm -hmm. I've never thought to do a cap player. Yeah, usually I like take you take the ear you take the people who have very weak hands. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I do it to the warlord like any day. Yeah, you, you want that card to that you steal to be fifty percent of the player's hand. Uh, Man, oh, 14, 14, 17, 17. What is this game? <laughs> oh, it's crazy. We uh, we paid them to preserve the drama here. I, there's definitely something going on. I mean, I, I, considering there's only 40 people watching, you probably paid too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm taking. Patrick out here trolling consistently. Yeah, uh, haven't I played Root with you like the last three Fridays? Yeah, you have. Did <laughs> you, already, you already forget? Wow. Wow. Already Are forgot. Are we between games right now? We, we finished, we no, finished, we, we finished week. last week, so yeah, yeah. We're, we're due for a new game start. Yeah, we're due for a new game. Dude, definitely. We played two, we played two Coastal Map games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. It was good times. It was, yeah. Coastal Maps pretty fun. It's working well. <laughs> My map's gone pretty well too. Yeah, yeah. I'm it excited. looks so pretty, Sam. Thanks. I know that I know I know the stream isn't about your map, but like it, it looks, looks it's so good. Thank yeah. you. I talked with Kyle. I literally talked with Kyle Farron. I was like, God, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> what can I do to make this look more like your maps? And he actually gave me some pointers, which was really cool, and I put them in. So it, there's definitely a lot of help, but yeah, I did my best. It was really cool. The map itself is pretty fun, too. But yeah, like I said, stream's not about my map, but... <laughs> oh, this oh, wow, look at this play move. is crazy. Oh, I love this. Oh, I don't even know what's up anymore. Get those sawmills. Sad roll, though. Sad roll. You never want equals as the Woodland Alliance. Sad. Yeah, the, I love to see the offensive Woodland Alliance. Yeah. I, mean, I think they're they're recognizing that cats with four sawmills and seventeen points, <laughs> and a bunch of guys. Dangerous. That's scary. This is so scary. Ooh. so scary, so scary. Ugh. So we I'm gonna. Yeah, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. Oh, just... I'm just joking, man. Patrick. Somebody else. Go ahead, Yuri. I was just, just commenting that Alliance did pass up the opportunity to build a um, brutal tactics there and then, then went for the attack and 
would have been interesting had they built it. The marquee would have been out of warriors there, open to the additional attacks. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. I feel like this wooden alliance player is still in a great position, but you know they haven't really been. I mean, the base takeout was pretty good, but. 16 points at this stage in the game is just really good. I am really, really wondering what the Eerie is going to do, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, well, I mean, it's interesting. They're really playing, like, when we were working on Vast, we often talked about who was playing the clock. Well, one of the tr tr things about Root is like s different factions get to play the clock at different times. This is like a very traditional eerie play that's like get to the point where you're scoring a few points a turn and then just see if you can sit and just get in there enough to make sure the game goes long enough mm. for you to win. Mm. I can see that. I can definitely see that. I mean, that to me is like the reason why the eerie hasn't gone to bust Texas or the, the you know, and clean up those sympathy quite yet. Sure. Well, it's just, it's such a delicate balance with this game. And that's why I love it so much. It's just such, it's so delicate. Like one move could like give the victory to somebody else in a way, like, or at least give them the advantage. So waiting can sometimes be the best move. But if you wait too long, you've lost. It's just, it's crazy. Really a game of opportunism. The lone cat clears the sympathy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> they have been waiting their whole life. Just that moment. That was it right there. Mm -hmm. They knew it was coming. It was time. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is there? I'm going to I'm going to use my my announcer privileges to take a look at that WA supporter stack. Mm, I would love to see. <laughs> I'd love to know. All right. The audience it's... would love to know. I think now it's presented. Well, you should be able to see the suits on the side of uh, the portrait when you're looking through that player's yeah. view. Oh, yeah. So, so there... Go ahead. Uh, Erie's considering their decree here, and I, I just wanted to put the question out. Um, are they going to be assigning to build this turn? Uh, there are certainly some paths where that's a, a viable option for them. Yeah, they've got a good, you know. I think they will. Yep. Yeah. Looks, looks like I, I, think, yep. I think they definitely need to. They would definitely want to kind of make themselves a little bit of a threat, just a little bit of a threat to kind of spread out some of the balance happening on the other side of the board here. <laughs> it definitely seemed like the turn for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How's the? How are those supporters looking for the Woodland Alliance, Cole? Uh, it looks like they've got a, a little wide. They have a wide selection, not deep in any one suit. Mm. Good to know. Good to know. I'm really afraid of their position still to this day. I'm afraid. I think that taking, I don't know. It's so hard. Taking their other base would probably be the best thing to do, but it would be very tough. Because you don't want to give them too many more supporters. You want to cut their supporters while they have a lot of supporters. How many total supporters do they have? Man, there is some serious thinking going on right now from the yeah, the Well, the players are chatting. I think there's some wheeling and dealing going on. Or at the very least, some collusion. Ah, for future tournament streams, we're definitely going to have a better setup. But 
for the first digital one, this is working pretty good. Um, but for future, I'd love to have the players' voices as well in it. Uh, it just didn't work out this time. But yeah, I'm really wondering what kind of deals they're they're working <laughs> up over there. You know, the the table yeah. talk is probably getting extremely crazy. <laughs> Got to do it. Oh. Hmm. Ah. I'm stressed out. <laughs> it looks like the Erie's just con consolidating a bit right now. Oh my gosh, six up on the top. Going for the going for the Marquise. I I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's the play. Maybe I'm I'm missing something here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh the role abuse. Well, for those of us who had been making the case for the marquee over here. It's uh, this is not a good moment. No, no, this is, this is looking rough. It's so interesting that this is the place where the Erie's going, right? Yeah, it really is. I think. I mean, this is again like one of those moments where the Erie must be thinking, "I, I'm going to close distance faster." I mean, although you know, we should say, Cat's got 22 points and a bunch of sawmills on the board. They they did good. I mean, it was a good run. It, it could. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what a sting! What a sting! Five. Using that commander. Five. You know, maybe the Erie is just trying to get to the keep so they can kill the vagabond. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we can all we can all cross our fingers and hope that that's the case. Oh. Okay, that roll was just showing up. That was incredible. Yeah. As a, a, you know, thankfully that that central bunny clearing is going to hold the cat position together a little bit. Yeah. And actually, the Erie is in a tricky spot because if the cat has even like one bird card they can use those recruiters and just rip through the back of the bird line and like remove them from contention mm, mm. i thought it was really interesting that the eerie you know the eerie wasn't yeah, they, able to 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 get you know, the eerie went in but leaving recruiters on uh you know going behind recruiters is a scary thing yeah yeah definitely definitely those two undefended roosts, too. <laughs> a little spicy. It's very bold. Very bold. Yay! Eerie play, sorry. Yeah, I can't I can't say I'm bored over here. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, boy. He just made a crossbow. Uh -uh. Oh, oh right. please no more punching the poor Marquise. No, oh, he's got it. He's got. He's leading. He's the the marquee yeah. is, is poor nothing. What uh, is he doing? I think it's crossbow the alliance. There here. we go. That's what oh, I wanted yes, to the see. Proper use of that item. Yep. The crossbow yep. clock. Yeah. Why? Why that item? Almost the, why it exists in the game. The wall killer. <laughs> why does he have a black card on him? Oh, because he has a bad relationship with. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cute? The little, the little hearts appear. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Uh oh. Okay, that That's was not how he wanted that to turn out. Bad roll. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I mean, you you have to be able to stomach that when you go against the alliance. The, uh. the rolls are not in your favor. <laughs> That's true. Gosh, I love the alliance. Ah, they're just so fun. Not only because of guerrilla warfare, though. There's a lot of other reasons, too. Definitely hoping for better luck than last time. Uh -huh. Oh, yep. Two. Got it. Not bad. I don't think you can complain about that by any means. No, no that's the, honestly about as good as it can get. <laughs> So is that going to take the building? Is that going to take, or uh, they'll probably discard? Oh, I don't know. Does it? Does the? Yeah, that's what I thought. The vagabond doesn't have another sword, though, right? Uh, let's find out. 
So Vagabond still has. Oh no, no, the swords have been used. Swords have been used. Yeah. Okay. So uh, also of note, Roger has uh, pulled into the lead here. Yeah. True. Uh, in, in points, uh, and and, I, and I've been meaning to ask. So I've heard that the uh, this raccoon here is named Roger. Do we have names for the other vagabonds? I don't think so. Wait, there the... are. They're all named in my notes when I was doing the character design, but I never. I never shared them because I wanted, like Cole wanted them to be, you, be, you know, you put your own it's a, on yeah, it. Well, yeah. And it's also like, it's a, it's a hat tip to magic realm. Yeah. Which famously is unnamed characters. Oh, friends. Oh, 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 oh there goes oh, the yeah. like the one. Oh yeah. That's gonna, oh. that, boy, what a position. Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> Oh, the that's... cats are playing so well. I'm sorry, cats. You don't deserve. Oh, that's so sad. They 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 got beaten and bruised by everyone at the table. <laughs> oh my word! Very very. Is he in the field hospital? It. I hope so. Uh, how many he's were there? Got, he's got a yellow. Yeah, see. Can. Oh. yeah. Good. Oh, what a brutal. Man, that's savage. I sadly think that that was just that was incredibly opportunistic for the for the Willen Alliance here. Yeah, they had you know all the players have had really nice breaks of luck in their favor. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, yep, that was that was theirs. Well, and the fact that they got the fox clearing at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. That's sure. another big if one. He's building armor. So he's not planning on winning. Hmm. Was there any way that, that that sympathy could have been removed before this? Did the cats leave it there last turn, or did they... Cats could have attacked it. The cats could have attacked it? Ah, That's got to hurt. It's very unfortunate. Because I truly believe, I mean, the cats were not in a terrible position. Even after... I mean, now that that's happened, they're in a sad position, but... Before that, they were not in a bad position. I think the biggest mistake here is the the chase not really including the Woodland Alliance very much. The you know, the smack the leader mentality did not happen with the Woodland Alliance very much this game. Yeah, that's definitely in their favor. Just now they got hit by the vagabond but it's pretty late in the game yep and they luckily were able to keep onto that base yeah. I, I guess they did lose their uh bunny base in the lower left a little earlier yeah so yeah that, that was i believe the only hit towards them really significant one yeah yeah it's just the, yeah. the usual sympathy clearing up <laughs> somebody is asking in the chat yuri if we can add flip the table button mm. <laughs> there's no, no table this is the world of root this isn't mm. this isn't tabletop simulator this is literally That's root game. we can tell them if oh my word oh, what? Just there we go. It. oh my gosh oh nice the Good power job, WA. well i was always sure of my guess <clears throat> yeah <laughs> they, okay that <laughs> position was just so good though. it was so good i think that like the, the birds may have been in a position to stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Vagabond might have been in a position to stop, especially once you get that crossbow. Yep. <laughs> the central bases, they're so hard to deal with. I, I'm still in the camp of the, the Vagabond at that point that they went for the cats should have gone for the Willow Alliance. But Well, there was just... also the, the pivotal moment of the Eerie going for the Marquis mm -hmm. and the yep. oh, most, yeah, most yeah. clearing instead of the Alliance, that which we had expected. Yep. The opposite move there. Yep, yep. Um, let me go ahead and unmute the players here and we can chat with them for a second here, hear their point of view. All right. Sure thing. Hey, Jimmy, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Uh, yep. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> the game was crazy. For a little? I don't know if they're going to talk to us. Maybe we should. Actually, you're probably right. They might want to say something. <laughs> Are they trying to leave? Yeah. Oh no, we just caught you guys. Uh, yeah, I want to leaving. speak with the winner. <laughs> yeah. That interview. Oh, uh, you're muted on the Discord. They can't hear you. Uh, so. Oh, I'm muted. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, hello. Sorry, yeah. I was muted. 
My bad. Uh, I've been uh, asking you questions. How are you guys doing? Sorry about that. Thanks, Cole. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird game. I'm yeah, it's doing pretty hard. <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear a little bit from each of you, if possible. Jimmy, how do you think your game went? I mean, I think I had it on the on the rails until like the last few turns. You know, yeah, I, yeah. Had, I, had, I had like I had like one bad recruit there, but I could have cleared a sympathy. That was a nice play, but otherwise, it was like a pretty solid game. Yeah, I, I really like. Liked... Oh, yeah. my bad. I had like twenty nine. <laughs> if, if, uh, if, if I don't get revolted there, so yeah, that was pretty solid. Yeah, I really enjoyed the uh, the early sawmill rush. That was cool. I like to see it. It was it was sad to see it all crumble, but like it was a good. I mean, this was a really fun game to watch, and you did you did well. It was it was cool. Yeah, but I tried my best. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just enough in the end. Yeah, Jimmy, you had me with that opening hand of three birds. I was I was rooting for you from the beginning. <laughs> what? Wait, you had three birds? Yeah. I had the, the triple birds. <laughs> That's amazing. No. <laughs> Brutal. Wow. Well, congratulations, uh, Valence. You have won the ultimate tournament. Um, if I could crown you the Lord of the Board, I would, but sadly, I'd have to give you the responsibility too, and I just I don't want to let that go yet. But <laughs> great, great job. You did amazing. Um, taking the the early uh, fox clearing was very beneficial for you. Were you happy to get that? Yeah. With your first I base? was surprised it was uncontested, but it would have been awkward for them to contest it. Mm. What I was really surprised about was the Vagabond wandering into it without killing it, though. Mm. <laughs> that was a little weird. There was a lot of definitely niche opportunities in that game. It was a, it was a very, very crazy game. Uh, but you guys you guys played really good. Um, I really enjoyed that. And thank you guys so much for, for joining and being a part of the stream. Uh, you guys all did a great job. And congratulations again to Valence. Um, I'm sure all the commentators want to say congratulations as well. They, they were enjoying the game as well. Yeah, I'm glad they enjoyed. Yeah. I'll Thank say you for being here for a fantastic play. play. And, and uh, just, just it's so, so wonderful to see the Eerie, Eerie and Cats, Cats played so well. And wonderful Vagabond and Woodland Alliance play too, of course. I was really impressed by the um, the uh, Vagabond stealing the hammer out of the Cats' hand. <laughs> was, that was, was pretty I don't, funny. I don't, you know, you lost, but it was still the play of the game for me. So I had a lot of fun watching that. Yeah, we laughed a lot. <clears throat> <laughs> was a song. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, great game all around. Yeah, thanks great, for... great game, great, great game. I just want to do a special thanks for Dark Trooper. Um, he was the one who actually organized the whole tournament that's been going on for the past yeah. month. Uh, so. Con- <laughs> Thank you so much for organizing the whole thing. I was just the flashy part putting together the stream, but he was the one who actually put together the tournament. So uh, thank you so much, Dark Trooper. And I know that the entire audience enjoyed this a lot. So great, great game. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, Does anybody else have any final words or are we good to close up here? Thanks for playing, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't play, but... Great to see you guys. Today. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for hosting. Of yeah, course. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, wonderful game. Yeah. I'll throw out a shout out to Dark Trooper also. Mm. Yep, he did a great job. I, I really appreciate it. Well, that we'll go ahead and close up the stream. Uh, everyone, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, that is it. Great job, Valensk, and we will see you next time. Have a good one.